Now to Fort Collins, where some say a law that's been on the books for years is hindering growth of the city. Yeah, we've reported extensively on the explosive growth in northern Colorado. Well, now the city is running out of room for would-be residents, like the more than 32,000 students at Colorado State University. Those who aren't in the dorms say they're struggling to find a place to live, and the U plus 2 rule constricts them. It caps roommates at three people per residence. It's been a city code now for years. Our Northern Newsroom reporter Dylan Thomas joins us live from Fort Collins tonight to explain more about what the students are trying to do. Dylan. You know, Kara, CSU has openly been boasting about their desire to add more and more students every single year. To the point for the past two years, they've ran out of dorm rooms, making some students actually live in nearby hotels. And when those students then age out of the dorms, they're moving right into the community. But Fort Collins Law actually locks it into where even if there was a five or six bedroom house near campus, only three unrelated people can live in that house. And now it's something even the mayor says that needs to be changed. We're just a part of the community as well, so we should be heard. Which is why CSU's student government is pushing for the city of Fort Collins to rid of their ordinance known as U plus two. It's a housing ordinance here in Fort Collins that basically says you can live with two other people that are not related to you, hence the U plus two part. It's made housing really tricky for uh, Fort Collins residents, specifically CSU students, because the less people you can live with, the more expensive rent is. For years, CBS News Colorado has covered how some students are knowingly violating the law, all to save on housing. It's definitely difficult to find affordable housing in Fort Collins. Students are doing it for a reason, right? And most of that time is just because they can't afford to live in the city of Fort Collins. We have this space. This space exists, but we're wasting it. It's a housing security issue when it comes down to it. And the students have gotten the attention of the mayor. We call it U plus two. And so that is quite restrictive. Mayor Arndt admits. We have a large housing supply issue. We have an affordability issue as well. I think it's time to re-examine our occupancy ordinance. But what isn't clear is what an adjustment would look like. And I think it really showed counts that we're here, we care, and we'll see them at the ballot box. So recently, Fort Collins has bolstered their nuisance laws, which the mayor says might address a lot of the different things that people think U plus two should be doing, like cracking down on noise violations and parties. Mayor Arndt said maybe one idea would actually be creating zones for this U plus two law, where maybe closer to campus there would be more leniency, but then further out as it gets to more family neighborhoods, there would be that U plus two law. Reporting live tonight, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Will be interesting to see what happens. We know Dylan will stay on top of it. Dylan doesn't just cover Northern Colorado for you. He lives there and wants to hear from you about what stories you want to see covered on the news. You can reach out to him by calling our tips line 303-863-TIPS or through our website, cbscolorado.com. Well